So Deontay Wilder is uncertain about his boxing future, and he's considering using psychedelics to make his decision whether he's going to continue his career or not. Check out the quote. I'm thinking about doing ayahuasca. That's going to be my decision-making process. Boxing's put a bad taste because of what it's done to me. It's dangerous, politics, cheating. I still have love for the sport, though, Wilder told the Byron Scott podcast. So... I, I see where he's going with it. He wants to use some psychedelics and see where he, that takes his mind. But I've heard of people having bad trips doing that. I've never done that. I, I could put, you know, I, I could be sworn under oath. I've never done ayahuasca. But from what I've heard is some people have bad reactions to it. And some people get violent. And the last thing I want to see is Deontay Wilder get violent with random people who are not boxers. So... Instead of him jumping straight into ayahuasca, uh, from what I hear is a very powerful psychedelic, why doesn't he go on the hot boxing podcast with Mike Tyson? And if you want to, you know, get some herbal medicine, because again, Mike Tyson's podcast is in California, so it's legal. What I'm suggesting is if you're considering using some kind of drug, why not use marijuana, which is a much more milder drug from what I hear uh, uh, than ayahuasca? You know, you go on the Mike Tyson podcast. Mike Tyson is one of the few heavyweight champions in history who can relate to Deontay Wilder on a personal level. Who else, maybe besides George Foreman, who's still alive, who else, uh, uh, what other heavyweight champion that's alive could relate to just blasting people out and being considered one of the hardest punchers in heavyweight history? You know, because you could say Lennox Lewis, but Lennox Lewis, he he didn't, he had power, but he didn't have that, you know, put him to sleep where his arms stiffen up kind of power. He ain't have that kind of power. And don't get me wrong, that power, knockout of Hasim Ratma and a couple other guys who I can't name off the top of my head were good, but Deontay Wilder, what he did to Dominic Brazil and Luis Ortiz in that second fight, like, is it, I think Tyson and, and Wilder can relate on that level, or having that elite, elite power. And again, Mike Tyson is somebody who gets deep. And if you ever listen to Deontay Wilder's interviews, he always either tries to get deep with the interviewer and the interviewer just doesn't can't can't really pick up what Deontay Wilder is trying to do or they don't really do a good job because they can't relate to it I feel like Mike is somebody who's from the streets somebody who's been in the ring been knocked out knocked people out savagely just like Deontay Wilder and they have a lot of common uh, uh experiences both in and out the ring I, I maybe, you know, Mike Tyson was more of a street guy than uh, Deontay Wilder. But my point is, uh, in the ring, how can you explain to somebody how it feels to just consistently knowing that you have the most power in that in that boxing ring? You know what I'm saying? Also, in, in that quote, uh, Deontay Wilder spoke about how it's dangerous and the politics and the cheating. You don't think that Mike Tyson dealt with that shit in the 80s and 90s? With the fucking politics, with, with 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 Don King, and you don't think he knows it's dangerous? Did that, that, that you know, like he got he got, he listen, he fought Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield twice, you know. The man was in some fights. He, you know, he got beat up by you know Buster Douglas, who fought a f terrific fight. This man has been down before, hurt, and he's also been on top of the world. He was undisputed. That picture behind me, that was in the three belt era. He got three belts. So this is somebody who's more accomplished than you, but also has the same amount of power as you, uh, as far as, you know, like he was an elite power puncher in his day and was a former heavyweight champion. And I would love, love, love to see this combination of people. Obviously, if Deontay Wilder doesn't want to smoke weed, obviously, that, like, that's not where I was going with it. But my point is, I just don't want him jumping straight into ayahuasca, you know, having never done any drugs in his entire life, which I don't know to be true, but, you know, could be. I've never heard uh, Deontay Wilder say any stories about how he used to do drugs in his younger years. But, yeah, I, just regardless of, again, regardless of the drug use, I, I was just saying that only because he brought up the ayahuasca. Um, I would love to see that podcast. We've seen Mike Tyson have Teofimo on. We've seen him have Devin Haney on, Ryan Garcia, David Benavidez. A few of these younger guys uh, have been on uh, his podcast, and they've been good podcasts, and they all seem to be in awe of him. And I would love to see how these two former heavyweight champions who were both knockout artists uh interact with each other and you know mike is going to be smoking you know he's going to be smoking he's going to be high he's going to be sharing his feelings you know 
also another thing I want to add to it why I would want to see this podcast of them two is both in the past have said they wanted to kill somebody in the ring Deontay Wilder says he wants a body on his record and at one point when Mike Tyson he was a young guy just to be fair he was like 21 22 spoke about how he wanted to uppercut somebody to break their nose into the their head to stab their brain. Uh, you know, like these guys have gotten to a really dark place when it, t- when it comes to boxing. And I would love to see that dynamic of them talking with each other and seeing how each other respects the other's re- mentality and how they can relate and how they can't relate. And, you know, what they think they would have done with each other in their primes. I, I just find like the, the interview would be so, so interesting. And hopefully it happens. But all right, guys, that's my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. What you guys think of Deontay Wilder's idea of doing ayahuasca? Or and also, what do you think about my idea of, you know, Deontay Wilder going on the Mike Tyson podcast and maybe smoking some weed with Mike instead of doing ayahuasca and figuring out what he wants to do in the future of his career with Mike. But all right, guys, that's my video. Hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, peace.